Blaming species for their own extinction when they're really disappearing due to the bad luck of living at the same time as people is the paradox that this short paper addresses. The paper explains where students go wrong in their thinking about natural selection and extinction, how student thinking relates to Darwin's conception of extinction, and it also provides some straightforward teaching strategies to counteract the paradox. I'm Yael Weiner, and in the next few minutes I will tell you a little bit more about the origin of the ideas presented in this paper. I've been teaching environmental issues and evolution to high school and now undergraduate and graduate students for close to 20 years. When I was still teaching high school, I ran across a letter to the editor which blamed the panda for its trouble surviving in the face of human-caused environmental change. The letter used the panda's exclusive dependence on bamboo, an adaptation likely evolved through natural selection, as evidence for why the panda was maladapted and undeserving of survival. The letter stated, if ever there was an example of a species hell-bent on committing suicide, it is the giant panda. In keeping with the Darwinian concept of survival of the fittest, we should allow them to do so. After reading this letter, I asked my students what they thought. Is the panda extinction the result of natural selection? Is the panda committing suicide? I was surprised to discover how widespread the misconception of extinction is. This led my co-author and I to survey college students who had already learned about evolution, extinction, and natural selection to see if they held the same misconception. Surprisingly, depending upon the scenario, a majority of students think that species extinction is the result of natural selection. Applied to the general public, this understanding has profound implications for how people understand extinction, and more importantly, in the context of today's ongoing sixth mass extinction crisis, has profound implications for how people understand our own culpability in these extinctions. Read the article for more details.